Greetings, St. Paul's Ivy. As you probably know, this past Friday, Virginia began phase one of its phased loosening of restrictions on events in the public square. Although it is now lawful for churches in the Commonwealth to hold in-person worship under very strict guidelines, the diocesan prohibition, the Diocese of Virginia prohibition on in-person worship remains in effect. Our diocesan leadership believes it is more prudent and faithful at this time to maintain the status quo given the continuing and significant dangers posed by the COVID-19 pandemic. Our bishop, Susan Goff, recently recorded a video that explains the reasoning behind this decision, and a link to that video accompanies my message today. With all that said, I am very happy to report that Bishop Goff will soon lift the injunction against recording worship services in the sanctuary. This is great news. Starting this Sunday, our worship service will take on a new form. We will once again celebrate the Holy Eucharist, a service that will be pre-recorded by me and Amanda in the church. And Daniel, our organist, will once again play organ music for our liturgy. Unfortunately, because it is not yet safe to sing together in a group, our singers will need to continue to record themselves separately at home or in some other location. And we will continue to layer their vocal tracks on the instrumentation. If you have any questions for me about this development, this change, or about anything that's happening in our life here at St. Paul's, do not hesitate to reach out and to contact me. We continue to move forward in these difficult days with courage, trusting in the grace and love of Jesus Christ. We continue to move forward in faith, in hope, in love. Keep the faith, brothers and sisters. God is with us.